is me, Charmise, and I'm here to do another blog video, and I have a special guest, my husband. Hi. Um, when I asked you guys what subjects you guys wanted me to touch on, some people asked about the pros and cons of living on and off campus, and I thought, why not bring in a person who's more opposite than me, um, and that would be my husband, Christopher. So today, I just want to talk about um, the pros and cons of living on campus versus off campus. For me, I lived on campus freshman through junior year and then the only reason why I didn't live on campus senior year was because there was an influx of freshmen so they pushed the upper class and off campus and I lived in apartments that were designated by Clark Atlanta University so it's kind of like I was living on campus not necessarily but you get the point point. and babe what was your experience I lived on Morehouse's campus for my freshman year and I could not have have left fast enough okay um, I spent the rest of my years in college living in off-campus uh, apartments. One, my, my <laughs> junior year, I was with roommates. All subsequent years after that, I was alone. It was great. Was there any, were there any benefits to you living on campus? The only benefit to me was meeting some lifelong friends that and you know that's a huge benefit like you know some of the guys that were in the dorm or like even my roommate like were around what 15 like no we're 10 years out 10 years out from graduation so about 10 yeah yeah i just had my 10 years so like a lot of a lot of these guys i'm still very very cool with so that's like the biggest takeaway but the day-to-day -day living no I'm an extrovert, so for me, it was really great to go into the dorm and have an instant friend. I still have not the best of friendships, um, but I do frequently speak to my roommates from freshman, sophomore, and junior year. Um, freshman year, my roommate was Jennifer. Sophomore year, I also had a roommate named Jennifer. Um, junior year, where was I? Oh, I was in Beckwith. I didn't necessarily have roommate because I was an RA. But I always, I always had the kids in my room and stuff like that, um, so that was pretty fun. Um, I feel like having roommates and living on campus is really great, and it's a really great um, experience in a community, especially freshman year. You get to be initiated into your dorm, and you're all clueless together. You're surrounded by people that are all trying to do some of the same things as you. So you build that foundation and just that started from the bottom type of mentality. Um, I really had a good time learning how to do laundry. <laughs> um, I just feel like all of the struggle, especially as a freshman, is great as a community. And it's a, just a really good experience to have. Dorms are disgusting places. Don't say that. I'm keeping it real. There are guys that did not want to um, take care of the showers. They didn't take care of bathrooms and if you're used to being a certain type of way a certain level of cleanliness expect that not everybody's going to be on or even close to your level and that's something that you're going to have to find a way to deal with yeah i feel like um when it comes to especially when you're a lower classman a lot of times you may live on a floor where you share bathrooms showers things of that nature the whole floor Right, so it is kind of competitive. I had one particular girl on my floor. We both were, we liked one specific shower. So I would set my alarm and try to beat her to that shower. Obviously, it wasn't the cleanest. Um, I mean, it, it wasn't even about just the cleanest. It was just like, you know, the one I felt most comfortable in. I felt like it was mine. Um, so you may share showers and toilets with other people. And a lot of times it may not be as clean as you like it, but... One great idea for a lot of people, my friend Stephanie taught me this, she used to take her little caddy with her and you have your own sanitary items and you make sure that things are up to par for you. Uh, you're not going to have a maid in college, you're not going to have a, you know, a major cleaning service so you have to govern yourself accordingly, but I do get the point that you're saying people can be really disgusting. You get to see people's real hygiene, you get to see their level of cleanliness and it may not match yours. I had a roommate, but there are people who come into the dorms who solely want to be in a single. They know themselves well enough to know that they do not want to interact with other people at that capacity. So I say if you are not the, you know, super friendly type or you, you're not the sharing type or you're not into that, you can try to speak with um, housing to see if you can find something that best suits you. Right? Yeah. 
um, what were some, what are some of the cons that you feel for living, um, on campus? I'm introverted. So obviously for me, other people is a con for me. Mm -hmm. Um, but not only that, like other people in the sense where you are sharing, like if you have a dorm where you're fortunate enough to have a kitchen, like and maybe per floor, you're sharing that with everybody else. Yeah. Um, if well, you told me you got sick a lot too. I did get sick a lot because everybody was quite nasty. <laughs> you got sick because people are nasty because you're sharing germs. Sharing germs, like you know, it's a lot of people in one building, like living, and you know. If one guy in your dorm, in the area of your dorm is sick, there's chances are that he's going to pass it to your whole entire wing or your floor. Um, another thing I did not like about dorm life was coordinating, like, time in the room with your roommate. Like, my first, I had two roommates. My first roommate, he was a business major and I was a biology major. All of his classes started around 12 to 1 o'clock in the afternoon, whereas all of my classes as a biology major started bright and early at 8 o'clock. So you were like two shifts passing Yeah, night. and except at nighttime when he wanted to have multiple people hanging out in her in our room at late hours, and we got, yeah, got into a physical conver uh, altercation, so it didn't go well. So. But it was different in your personalities, Pers right? It was different in personalities, but it was a difference in how we handled each other's schedules that made things get worse. So when you had the issue with him, did did you then switch roommates? Absolutely. And that's Matt. Yeah, and, and that's a lot. That's a lifelong friend. Right. Yeah. So in instances where you are living on campus, you may find you have multiple differences with the person that you're living with, and that's when you have to kind of talk to your RAs. Or you have, may have to take it higher up the chain just to make sure that you're comfortable in your particular living space. Um, I loved living on campus. Uh, I feel like one of the pros to living on campus is being able to literally get up, walk to the cafeteria if you need to, and walk straight to your classes. Everything is super accessible. For me, I already know his answers. I didn't have a car until my senior year right before graduation. So, you know, I was trekking it everywhere. It was really advantageous for me to be on campus, have access to every single thing, and not be really be required to have to drive um, anywhere. So the only downsides to not having a car would be the luxury of having somewhere to store things. For instance, if I was doing laundry or if I was doing a grocery run, I would need to probably take, and I did, usually take like one of my bigger luggages and just, you know, push it with me down the street to Publix, get all my groceries and lug it all the way home, which is generally like three blocks, but like long blocks. Same thing with laundry. So um, not having a car isn't that bad of a thing. But, you know, there's those times where you wish you might have had that luxury. So, babe, like financially, how how is that situation when it comes to um, living off campus? Well, it's different. You're paying rent versus... Um you get you pay at the beginning of the first semester and at the beginning of the sem yeah the beginning of the semesters for your room and board yeah. at school. You have to pay rent every month. Now, what you can do is at the beginning of every semester, whether it's a refund check or a scholarship check or whatever you get, just make sure you pay as much rent as possible up front, and that could sort of mimic. Uh, on campus uh, payments go but other than that you know there's time can you know the, the the financial piece is just rent like you know rent versus uh how you pay for stuff at school what was your rent when we were in school uh $850 a month now in my opinion years later like we've been out of school for a minute yeah. I know rent is not eight no, but like I definitely not at think all. it's probably a lot more expensive. Yeah. Yeah. So that can also be a downside. A lot of people when they come to school, they want to stay on campus, they want to get that experience. Some people, spoiled people, or particular people, you know, they want to live off campus. And then there's those other folks that maybe want to stay at home. If staying home is a feasible option for you, now I'm not like if you're going to college 
in your hometown and staying at home is an option for you financially, I would definitely advise that, but I would say make sure to be active on campus. If you can afford to live off campus and you can find a safe, um, feasible place to be and still be in the mix, then I think you should do that. My fear of being off campus is like being so pulled away from everything that you're not in the mix of things that are going on with campus, you know, clubs and organizations and potential opportunities because you're so far removed from the on-campus community. That's my whole thing. Um, but again, we wanted to talk about the pros and cons of living on campus and living off, off campus. And I hope that we've done that. Um, so if, if you had to do it all over again, would you do the same thing? Would you want to live on campus? Or like, how would you want to do it? Knowing what you know now. Knowing what I know now. I would have, you know, it, it, it all depends on your school. Like, my school, freshman year, you had to live on campus. So there was really no way around it. Mm -hmm. um, sophomore year, on the other hand, maybe I would have either stayed closer to campus so I could have been more involved in campus activities mm -hmm. or I would have tried to do like a upperclassman uh, like apartment situation that's close to campus or on campus but, better amenities but better amenities yeah. and less people to bathroom less people to kitchen situation like the ratio was just bad in the dorms mm-hmm um, and your one takeaway from all of it you said is just the friendship. Yeah, I got some best friends out of it. Nothing so. else? No. Okay. Um, I like how everything turned out for me. So if I had to do it all over again, I believe in living on campus and really having those experiences and those memories to tell people about. I often get people asking me questions about my experience. And I tell a lot of my old coworkers are, you know, 40s and 50s maybe even a little bit older and they have kids or grandkids that are going to college and I'm like put them on campus you know let them have those experiences a little bit of struggle never hurts anybody I think it builds character but again you have to know yourself did you look at me like no oh, okay <laughs> <laughs> you have to know yourself so the purpose of this video was just to make sure that we explore both sides extrovert um introvert <laughs> On-campus experience is heavy, more so off-campus, and he also had his car. So I would advise that you take the time to talk to your family about what you really want to do, what's most affordable for you. Um, but college is so much more than just the educational aspect. You want to have those experiences, right? Yeah. You kind of regret not having some of those experiences? A little. A little, like a smidge. A smidge. A smidge, yeah. But um, just make sure that you sit down and devise the best plan for you. Um, and if you have any questions, comment them below. Please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching and have an awesome day.